Hi, YouTubers. Jeff Cote here with Ask PYS. We've got a question from a fellow voter. Cheryl asks a really good question, by the way. Um, common question that I get. And this is all about details right here. So listen in on this one. This one is good. What is the difference between a heading sensor and a GPS? Should I have both on my boat? We like to anchor and we'll be traveling to Alaska next summer. Okay, this is a good one. I like it. So GPS um, is, provides a value called course on ground. That is basically effectively where your boat is traveling to, not where your boat is heading. And if that's confusing, hang on and let me demy demystify all of this. So the reality is that our boats are traveling in a direction with the sum of different forces acting upon our boats. So what are those forces? Well, one of them is propulsion. So propulsion could be from your engine or from your sails, right? And so with that, you're moving in a given direction. The next is tide or current. There are, the reality is there are tides and currents in this world, and the slower your go, boat moves, those currents, like here in the Pacific Northwest, can be two knots, three knots. Those currents affect where your boat is gonna go. Even if you don't have wind or propulsion, your boat is actually moving at two to three knots wherever the current or the tide is bringing you to, right? And then the other part that's also really interesting is you also have wind. So you've got wind pushing you somewhere, you've got tide, uh, which effectually affects currents, and then you also have propulsion, which is either your own, the motor or wind. And so in the Pacific Northwest and a lot of places on earth, you actually rarely go where you're actually pointing. And the, that's confusing. Yeah, you're actually not going where you're pointing your boat. So where the boat is heading is actually different than where it's going. And those two vectors, and if you enable them on your chart plotter, you can actually, if you have an autopilot, you have by default a heading sensor. And the heading sensor is gonna be directly, obviously facing the bow of your boat, but your course on ground might be like this. So you're gonna have a delta between what you're, where you're going and with your boat and where you're heading, or where you're heading with your boat and where you're going with your GPS. And the delta between those is course on ground via heading. And the reason why heading is really important is if you ever want to do a chart overlay or a radar overlay onto a chart, the radar overlay is going to be skewed if your boat heading is not included or not part of the chart plotter. Because the radar overlay won't understand that you're actually not going where you're pointing. And so with a heading sensor connected to a chart plotter, your radar overlay is going to be perfectly synced. Some radar manufacturers actually don't allow radar overlay unless you have a heading sensor. So simply, you cannot do radar overlay without a heading sensor. Garmin makes budget heading sensors, and there are more expensive heading sensors that are sort of built with autopilots. If you have an autopilot, you either have a Fluxgate compass, which is a heading sensor, or it's gonna be a digital gyro heading sensor, and you're gonna also be able to know where your boat is actually pointing to as opposed to where it's going. So the question by Cheryl was, do I, should I have both? And my answer is most definitely. You should have a heading sensor on your boat and you should have obviously a GPS with course over ground. Thank you for watching this video. If you've got further questions and you're wondering about your own boat, please ask questions below or send us an email with your questions and we'll get to them hopefully as soon as possible. Also, we're trying to keep this channel ad free, so please donate on the PayPal so that we can keep doing these productions and also potentially buy one of our lovely hats on our merch store. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our YouTube and get our weekly updates. We're posting about four videos a week right now and also, Thanks for watching.